Since providing the media with an update on January 11th, the Belize Police Department has been rather quiet in its investigation of the officer-involved murder of businessman Farid Ahmad. During that meeting, Minister of Home Affairs Wilfred Ellington, speaking on behalf of Assistant Commissioner of Police Chester Williams, went on record to state that Ahmad, a well-known Belize city barber, had picked up woman police constable Michelle Brown. He even went as far as admitting that the two were together for some time prior to fatal shooting which was reportedly caught on surveillance footage retrieved from a gas station on the George Price Highway. It is quite shameful, you know, whereby this narrative is continuously pushed by members of the police department giving reference that Farid and this WPC had some level of relationship. The family viewed the video footage. In the video footage, it did not show anything whereby a vehicle dropped this female off. It did not show Farid's vehicle. It did not show Farid, nor the female, nor anyone being dropped off or picked up. But hours before viewing that, there is a statement made on Ellington's behalf, the minister Ellington's, um, whereby he made a false statement that Farid picked up this female. There's a video footage where it showed that Farid picked up this female and they were together for hours. Having reviewed the film sequence of events, as well as the call logs for both Ahmad and Brown, the family is convinced that the information given is misleading. Today is the first time that Farid's wife of 14 years has spoken with the media. Irma Dyer begins by defending her slain husband's name against what police have said. Even after they had killed him, you know, they are still trying to ruin his reputation by saying that he was having an affair with this woman. In respect of any communication between the victim and the accused, Dyer tells the media that there is no documented proof to substantiate a claim that Ahmad and Brown ever knew each other. In terms of the, um, the BTL phone record, there is not even one shred of evidence indicating that Farid and this W had absolutely any communication. Not no text messages, um, no phone calls. Um, everybody know that Farid, Farid is a well-known person. If he and this W had some kind of relationship, somebody would have come forward already and said, look, I've seen Farid with this young lady and they look kind of, you know, nothing to that sort. And the final thing that I want to say is um, the night of the incident, my husband called me and we had a, we had a conversation for about mm -hmm. five minutes and he was telling me um, that he made his report. That report is a statement that was made against officers attached to the special assignment team, a unit of the police department to which WPC Brown was designated. Farid had filed an official complaint stating that the officers on several occasions had been harassing him. In the wake of his murder, the Ministry of Home Affairs has extended an invitation to the family to seek outside assistance with the criminal investigation. Right now the family is grappling with how is it that so many major errors have been made in, in the investigation itself because they have taken the point that the Minister of the Police has said He's open if you can, in fact, make some contact and he specifically named the, the Muslim community. There are other options that, in fact, are being looked at and those will be brought to the attention of the minister to see if, in fact, he's amenable to some kind of working relationship between investigators and the local investigators. But that does not in any way exonerate who all are responsible, as Tahira has said. Their mandate is to investigate. 
And I have just heard something which put me to thinking that if in fact they're making those kind of serious mistakes publicly, then what the family has said is, oh my goodness, we will probably see a case go to court and fall down if that is what is happening. Farid Ahmad was shot and killed inside a vehicle that he was driving along the George Price Highway in Hatterville. WPC Michelle Brown is accused of having pulled the trigger from the passenger seat of the same BMW SUV they were both traveling in on the night of December 27, 2017. Reporting for News 5, I am Isane Kayatano.